what's going on i had a request video sent to me um dreams pro who is a uh, fellow content character a creator on his youtube streets very knowledgeable i enjoy his content a lot and i watch his show does inspire and i'm one to always acknowledge truth when people inspire and create uh was threatened by a lebron james fan because he wouldn't call lebron james the goat and got mad I wish somebody would. I have not had anybody come at me cray cray. Maybe because I'm not as blown up or as known. But I wish somebody would. I dare anyone to come at me about if I got mad because I wouldn't call him the GOAT. I did have a live stream and one of my regulars came on and got mad because I got LeBron in the 10 to 15 section. And I said, take it or leave it. And anybody who don't like it can hit an exit. That's where he's at. He barely tapped in as I speak. I think that the longer he plays, the worse it looks on his resume, especially since he is not title contender anymore. And for all his trips to the finals, he should be near Tom Brady, and he's not. You got these heads on sticks who are saying it's ridiculous that he's the second best or the first. No, he's not. No, he's not. No one with a losing record qualifies as a top two, three player ever. Let's just keep it 100. Does Michael Jordan have a losing record in the finals? Does Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have a losing record in the finals? Does Bill Russell have a losing record in the finals? Does Shaquille O'Neal have a losing record in the finals? Does Tim Duncan have a losing record in the finals? Does Steph Curry have a losing record in the finals? See, make it make some sense when you're going to have this. Does Larry Bird have a losing record in the finals? Does Magic Johnson have a losing record in the finals? No, no, and no, and no. So stop this narrative that a guy that's four and six in the finals is somehow the second best player ever when he's not. That's a disrespect to the others who won more or have better winning records and didn't have stacked teams and didn't have the commissioner and people stat patting or having his agency clutch threaten people or firing your coaches and just being a diva. Just embarrassing every way you look at it. <clears throat> you know. He pretty much, when it's all said and done, has wrecked the NBA and is viewing privileges. Maybe for the casual fan. Maybe for those who like to live a fantasy or something. He, you can tolerate him. But if you're an NBA head like myself and you really went to the league and you remember the competition at its best and so on, you can't get with this made-for-TV bad subplot, a pilot cliffhanger episode of who will be the next coach. I want nepotism. I want my son and all snuggling up with the owner and all kinds of just things that are not professional. Where fate is not done. Cheating refs, giving your calls, doing everything. And you're four and six in the finals. Four and six. And four of the most suspect rings ever too. Bubble ring, strike short ring. A fluky, lucky three-point shot that saved your behind wasn't fluky with the shot, but the rebound, because Tim Duncan just happened to sit down. And then the comfort behind against Golden State, with Draymond getting suspended and all that. Can you have more? But one thing about the other side of it, your butt got waxed. You got swept twice in them finals. And the... Uh, you know, you didn't look so good sized up against Kevin Durant. You know. And so just think about things. This and one only one of those finals are the first one against Golden State. Could you make a case that you played great, but you choked that game four? You didn't do too good at home for all that series you had. So just put these things in perspective. As a matter of fact, you lost three straight in that finals against Golden State. So, yeah, even with the 2-1 lead. Never held accountable. He got a chance to be arguably the truly the most overrated superstar to ever play basketball when it's all said and done. All these folks up here lapping and lying to sell what narrative, I don't know. But it's ridiculous. And to be threatening people who are podcasters who are just speaking from the heart and soul, is embarrassing. The fandom is stannery. And it's 
embarrassing. Especially for someone who doesn't merit that. I'm sorry, losing Ruckert in the finals, you're not in the GOAT conversation. Especially with the stacked pad teams you had and the situations you had, nobody can respect it. Oh, yeah, you got numbers. Okay, well, if you play long enough, you stay healthy long, which I'll give you, even though we know, you know, there may be some injections going along. But the other stuff, the antics, and how come Anthony Davis ain't better than he is? Because that's the elephant in the room now. How come he's not better? Oh, yeah, and for the record, Dwayne Wade did win a championship without you being there. And even though he didn't do much in this finals, Kyrie Irving did go to a finals without you. That's for the people who always like to bring the Scottie Pippen and Jordan situation. I said, well, when a, Kyrie Irving did get to a finals. You know, he's a second sidekick. He did get to the finals this year. Think about it. That's a fact. Scottie Pippen never went to a finals without Michael Jordan. If you don't play the sidekick second banana roll. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And respect. If you got a disagree with the content creator, say you got don't like they take, don't threaten them. Don't say nothing stupid. Don't get yourself in trouble. And you wouldn't say it to said person's face because chances are you might catch that Will Smith two-piece special. I'm out.